name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how does the mass of a planet change an object's weight. So the mass of an object is a fundamental property of an object, is how much matter you have inside that object. So mass doesn't change no matter where you are. Now a weight is something different, is how that mass reacts under certain uh, gravitational field. So a really famous equation, though, the way we calculate the, uh, the weight here is generally the force is equal to the mass times the gravitational constant g. Now g on Earth is 9.8 meters per second square. And that's our gravitational strength. So that means that we take the mass of an object, multiply by our gravitational strength, and it gives us the weight. Now, how do we get this gravitational strength? And I'm going to show you how to derive this for any mass. And this is where the, the planet's mass really comes into play. So to end up with this g, we use uh, the gravitational uh, equation. So the gravitational constant g times the mass of the planet divided by the radius of the planet squared. And this is going to give you the gravitational strength. So if you go to Venus, you take the mass of Venus and the radius of Venus, and it's going to give you the gravitational strength of Venus. Therefore, if you go to Venus and you want to know your weight, you multiply it by the mass, and then it gives you the weight. So let's uh, actually derive this 9.8 so you get to see it. So g, the gravitational constant, is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 and is meter cubed per kilogram per second square. The mass of Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And the radius of Earth is equal to 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. And I keep this all in the same unit so I can just match the gravitational constant so I can end up with an answer in the correct units. And I want my answers to be in meters and seconds. That's why I don't use uh, anything but meters and seconds. OK, so then if we plug in all these values for g, m, and r, so we end up with 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times 5.9 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.38 times 10 to the 6, all of this square. And our units in this case are going to be meter cubed, kilogram second square times kilogram, divided by meter square. So if you see kilograms and kilograms cancels, meter squares cancels this and leaves you with a single m. So your answer is going to be in meters per second square, which matches our gravitational uh, strength. Now, if you plug this into your calculator, you'll get you know, approximately 9.8 meters per second square. So as you can see, the mass of the planet, it really, really determines what that g strength is. So it changes your weight in every planet you go to because uh, the gravitational strength in every planet will depend on the mass of that planet and the radius of that planet. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is how a planet's mass can actually affect a body's uh, weight. Mm -hmm.